All right, so let's check out the whole hotel now. And we got to talk to Manny Vargas inside of this uh, giant T-Rex sculpture. Up there. Well, let's check out all the doors first. If I remember correctly, there's a ton of shit you could take in here. It's Manny Vargas's room. Con hospitality. Manny, you made the right choice putting us up and keeping it quiet. Oh, wow. This weasel Benny's been twitchy since he stole that package from his boss, making me nervous as hell. When I found out we'd be passing on our way to Boulder City, I was sure we could count on you. Let the other cons say, we'll say what they want. I know where your loyalty is. So Manny works for the cons. Oh, shit. Manny works for the cons, covertly. Boulder City. Let's take a look. Boulder City's way out here. Okay. Well, I want to keep looking around. A uniquely lit up lamp. Nothing I want. All liquor. Pre war books. Nah. What the hell? There's a glowing mushroom. <laughs> a glowing mushroom growing in there. Steal those drugs. That's right. Okay. Uh-oh, what happened? I think the game locked. It did! Oh, no! Oh! Well, ladies and gentlemen, our first New Vegas game crash. It's official. The game has locked up. Game crash. Number one of the playthrough. Gotta go restart the 360. God damn it. It's all coming back to me now. It is. It's all coming back to me. All the issues we had playing New Vegas the first time around with these game crashes. So now I don't know when it auto-saved. We have to see. Hopefully it auto-saved when I went inside the hotel room. Damn it. How annoying. Ugh. All right, let's put me on busy mode. There was a time when I had like five zillion friends on Xbox Live, but that time has passed. <laughs> All right, here we go again. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, wow, it did auto save in the hotel room. Good. It's not too bad then. La, 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 la. So all I gotta do is I remember still from here. Okay, good. Back outside. Hopefully it doesn't crash this time. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. There we go. It's Boone's room. I certainly remember Boone. And here he is. Beat it. I don't think he wants me to be in here. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't go in there. He kicked my ass out of the room. We got on the second floor. Another motel room. Daisy yeah. Whitman. Fine weather for flying. It's times like these that make me miss it all. You were a pilot? Vertebrae pilot. 71 missions and only lost one chopper. Rotor malfunction over Klamath. Hard landing, but I walked away. You are wrinkly as shit. What do you do? I help folks strip down the more complicated bits of salvage they bring in. Engines, mostly. The bits and pieces we take out are usually worth more than the whole thing put together. Did you fly for NCR? Or, no, not exactly. It was a long time ago. Things are a lot different these days, and those days are way behind me. Okay, that's enough of this. Watch your six out there. I don't think I should steal in front of her. She'll probably take my shit. Then again. Detected, yeah. She's not gonna let me take it. Alright. Another motel room. Who's this? Bruce Isaac. Oh, please don't kill me. What? I swear I'll have... Wait. You... You don't work for Mr. Bishop, do you? Who the hell's Mr. Bishop? Why do you think that? Sorry, it's just... You look like his type, you know? You got that hard-ass wasteland explorer thing going on. Huh. Aren't you that singer from New Reno? I think I saw you play the clubs there. Oh, so you have heard of me. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I was the big draw at the Shark Club. People used to pay hundreds of caps to see me. Then my lips turned white. <laughs> and my eyebrows burned off my face because I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me. Why'd you come here from New Reno? You don't know Mr. Bishop. He's not like other bosses up there. He knows the wasteland like the back of his hand, and he likes to wander it. I knew if I didn't get way the hell away from New Reno, he'd run me down like a dog. Why would this bishop be after you? Oh, well, that's all just a big misunderstanding, see? Mr. Bishop, well, he owed me a lot of money, and, uh, you know, he's a busy guy, so I sort of figured I'd just take it off his hands. And, uh, it's probably a bad idea. So you ran to Novak. I figured it might take him a while to understand his accounting error and cool down a little. Also, I might have, uh, sort of plowed his daughter. Oh, yeah! Uh, I'll let you know if I find any work with a singer. You uh, do that? Great. I really appreciate that. Okay. That's it for now. Uh, yeah, yeah. See you later. So this guy's on the lam. Trying to hide out from this Mr. Bishop. Nothing to steal in his room. Okay. A crooner in trouble. Another motel room. No one in this one. Oh, wow. Take that shit. Whoever's in here is a druggie. Look. Drugs everywhere. Purified water. Hydra. Damn, this room was completely full of drugs. Take all that shit. I need the key to open this hotel room. Okay. So right now, the two things I'd like to do, I'd like to come back at night and open that safe. 
And maybe go into Boone's room at night as well when he's not there. But let's check out these. Ranger Andy's bungalow. And here he is. We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. What do you do here? Right now, a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. On better days, I help keep the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. I tell myself I'm doing some good. Hmm. He's with NCR? Was. Was with them. That was back when my arm and leg used to work better. I still like to pretend I'm a ranger, though. I'll check in with the guys up at the station pretty regular on the ham radio. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects, the smug bastards. <laughs> they haven't been responding to me last couple days. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk, but it still got me a little worried. Hell, they're dead. listen to me talk, like some damn mother hen. Would you feel better if I checked it out? Uh, no. No, they're gonna think I'm having trouble letting go. They're good soldiers. I don't give them enough credit. What did you do something? Yeah, what happened to his leg? Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the Rangers. This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. Aww. What happened? A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. We get there, and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. As we're leaving, I hear something behind me. I turn around, and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us, and he's scared half to death. Been hiding in a closet. Okay. I go to grab him out of there, and I notice he's holding something in his hand. Something metal. He shuts himself back in the closet, and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. Uh. They do it a lot, the Legion, using kids. They know we'll hesitate. Anyway, that was the first time. Second time, I fell down those stairs in front of the motel. Just in case I got to thinking I'd put it all behind me. Well. I certainly can't do this. Just because you're idle and you'll never walk again. I forgot where I was going with that. I'm sure it was very inspiring. <laughs> Alright. Hey, uh, wait a sec. I know what I said, but if you find yourself by Ranger Station Charlie, let me know what you find. I'd be interested. Okay. A journal of medicine. I can't take it because he's fucking standing there like a jerk. I want it, but... I can't steal. He won't let me, I'm sure. No. Nope. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna try to, to steal this, but I'm gonna save first. Okay, let's see what happens. He didn't see it because he's a dumbass. Okay, then. Okay, we got one more building and then we can go inside the dinosaur. Cliff Briscoe. Who the hell's Cliff Briscoe? What a name. Fancy ass name. A ton of these T Rexes. They're all over the place, look. Nothing else in here but T-Rexes. <laughs> okay then. Alright, into the dinosaur. Denver, the last dinosaur. He's my friend and a whole lot more. Who the hell remembers that? Is that Cliff Briscoe? Damn, there's good stuff to steal here. How yep. you doing? Whoa, a ton of bobby pins. Welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. Yeah, just a few. What do you sell? Well, there's T-Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory souvenirs, rockets, things of that nature. What about supplies and guns? <clears throat> guns? I, uh, well, 
Yeah, I guess I might have a few. <laughs> Darn it, no one ever buys the T-Rexes. Let's see what he has for sale. Let me sure sell thing. some stuff. Have a look. He's got 500 caps, so I'll sell all my shit. Baseball, I didn't mean to pick up. <laughs> look at that, I can give him these. He doesn't even, he doesn't even give me any money for them. Just get them out of my inventory. I don't even know why I have them. Empty syringes. A fresh carrot. Oh, wow. <laughs> the fresh carrot is actually good for food. I'm going to hold on to that. Ugh. What do I want to sell? Microfusion cells. Pack of cigarettes. I didn't even mean to pick up the scrap electronics. Take that. And the varmint rifle. There we go. Boom. So what does he have for sale? Gun cowboy repeater. He buys the stu the stupid souvenir thing. He has a thousand of them. <laughs> oh wow, he sells doctor's bags. I'm buying all three doctor's bags. That's good stuff. He has a future weapons today. I don't care about that though. He actually has plasma rifle. He has a power fist. Huh. A little pricey though. I'm sure I'm going to find a lot of those later. I'll buy the purified waters. I'll buy a rocket souvenir. That's it. That's all I want. There we go. What about the souvenir rockets? They're scale replicas of the real thing. Very detailed. Got a liquid in them that makes them glow. From what I hear, Repcon used to give them out on tours of their HQ up in Henderson. Aha! But I guess they had to stop after the first few kids thought they were filled with nuka cola and drank it down. Ew. The papers had a name for the condition and everything. They called it the Repcon Shakes. Those were bad times for Robco. How'd they end up here? Well, they unloaded what they had left on the dino bite as a tax write-off, but that was before my time. Plenty of demand for them, seeing as how they're one-of-a-kind collector's items, but I might still have some in back. Okay. Come back soon now. So I gotta come back at night again and try to rob everything. Look, he's got a locked door. He's got all kinds of good stuff here to steal. He also put a new thing on my map, right? <clears throat> Repcon headquarters. There it is. Okay. Out of the way. Out of my way. I'm gonna go talk to Manny and say, I know that you're one of the freaking... Uh, what are they called? The, the cons or whatever? <laughs> Manny Vargas, here he is. <clears throat> What's going on, man? Who are you? I'm Manny. I'm on security detail here. You see a rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth, you got a 50-50 shot at me. Otherwise, it's boom. Okay. What do you protect your town from? You name it. Anything <clears throat> that comes within a thousand yards that looks like trouble. Lately, we've been getting ghouls coming from the road to Repcon out to the west. Quite a few last couple days. The big threat is the Legion coming from the east. If they decide to attack with a full force, they'll run us over. But so far, we've been lucky. Okay. Who's Boom? <clears throat> Boom's a sniper. Same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, but, uh, we're not so friendly right now. Yeah? Why are you on bad terms? <clears throat> Me and his wife. We didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. What do you argue about? Man, you name it. <clears throat> see, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins. We were some bad <clears throat> seeds. Excuse with me. Family. I <clears throat> loved it. Then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. So, I enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. What the hell? It's his wife, idiot. You were in a gang? Were they tough? 
Were they tough? <clears throat> I was in the cons, man. Ah, I didn't get any which we know. What was your tour with the NCR like? <clears throat> oh, it was great. I wouldn't trade it. Something about that lifestyle, the discipline, seeing new places, making people safe. What's not to like? Why'd you leave? Uh, well, I just felt like it was time, you know? Wanted to have a home. Plus, I was up at Camp Golf when Bitter Springs went down. I faked like I was sick to get out of going. Wow. I knew some of the people there. But when everybody came back, nobody would tell me what happened. And people would call us murderers sometimes when we showed up to secure towns. Huh, Bitter Springs. Yeah, what happened to Bitter Springs? I still don't know exactly. Just that a lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. I don't blame anybody for it. There's so much chaos when you're fighting. You're lucky not to shoot your own guys. But it did take something out of it for me. This wasn't the same. So when it came time to re-enlist, I just took my papers and walked. Huh. Okay. Yeah, see ya. Alright, well. Sounds to me like what I need to do is wait till nighttime and talk to Boone, and also we got other things to do at night, right? <clears throat> so here's what we'll do. It's saved, right? Okay. Let's wait till midnight and see what happens. It's midnight now. Let's see if this guy is still here. Did he leave? Oh, my dehydration level increased. I think he's gone. There we go. Oh my god. He wasn't kidding about the rocket souvenirs. Holy shit. It's a room full of rocket souvenirs and dinos. Oh my god. It's all it's in here. Why the hell did he even bother to lock it? Stole four bobby pins. Anything else worth stealing? Nah. Alright, well, that was a complete waste of time. I think there's uh, stuff here too, right? Let's look. Scrap metal. Ah, first aid box. Nice. More bobby pins. Nice. Alright, so we gotta talk to Boom, but I also wanna see if I can rob the front office of the hotel. How's my radiation doing, by the way? Ugh, all right. Hopefully that'll lower my radiation. Let's see if she's still in here. It's midnight, so she'd probably be asleep. She's gone. Nice. Bill of Sale. Let's read this Bill of Sale. <clears throat> the representatives of the Colso Officiorum have this day bargained and purchased from Jeannie Mae Crawford of the Township of Novak the exclusive rights to ownership and sale of the slave Carla Boone for the sum of 1,000 bottle caps and for those of her unborn child, 500 more bottle caps. She sold Boone's wife as a slave to the frickin' Caesar's Legion. So that's what happened to her. Okay. 
Let's go to Boone's place. Loot that, and then we'll go talk to Boom. Boone doesn't have shit. Boone sucks. Alright. Let's go back. By the way, how's my rad ra uh, radiation now? Lowered, but not all the way. There. I took two more. Ah, radiation level decreased. Nice. <clears throat> Wait a minute. I just realized something. I want to talk to Boom, but at the same time, there's that per the whatever's killing the cows, remember? We gotta check that out, too. Let's go check that out. What's killing the cows? This is the merchant. Here's the cows. Damn, something killed one. Well, we screwed up. The cow's already dead. We need to be here around midnight. So we fucked this up. We gotta come back at midnight another day and try to stop the other cows from being killed. Alright, so now we gotta go talk to Boone. <clears throat> 